Hey, it's Tax Quibs time from TaxMama.com. Today, Tax Mama wants to talk to you about changes to this year's filing season that you may have missed or forgotten about. Well, my friends, we are getting close to another year's initial filing deadline. This year, our April 15th deadline has moved to April 18th, giving us a few extra days to file. I'm not going to repeat all the usual tips and deadline information. You can find last year's links here. Just disregard last year's May due date. But if you haven't filed your 2018 tax return and you want your refund, please file it by the April 15th date this year just to be safe. Trust me on this. It will save arguments with the IRS later. But I want you to be aware some people say you can file until April 18th and others that if you have your 2018 tax return on extension that you may be able to file as late as October 15th. But why risk losing the refund? File now. There are about one and a half billion dollars in refunds that have been unclaimed and are set to expire. Working on some tax returns last week, Lulu pointed out that some new forms are now mandatory. Also, answering some Tax Mama forum questions, I learned new information while researching answers and was reminded about other information. So I decided to find as many of those forms for you so you don't overlook them as I almost did. I love her backing me up. In addition, there may be provisions that have expired since last year. This may not be a complete list and it may be totally random as I find them or remember them. So let's take a look. Form 8915, the Qualified Disaster Retirement Plan Distributions and Repayments. This is where one-third of last year's retirement plan distributions gets reported this year or repayments of those funds. The form was issued late, so if you already filed your tax return and forgot to include this income, amend now before April 18th and consider submitting the payment via the IRS online payments, not on paper check. For S Corporations Form 7203, S Corporation Shareholder Stock and Debt Basis Limitations. You now have to reconcile the taxpayer's basis in their S Corporation stock. For taxpayers who never really kept formal books or a balance sheet, this is going to be a challenge. The Net Operating Loss Carryback, or NOL. The special provisions allowing us to carry NOLs back for five years only apply to 2018, 19, and 20. Net operating losses originating in 2021 can only be carried forward. There is an exception for certain farming net operating losses that can still be carried back to two years ago. Tuition and fees deduction formerly on Schedule 1, this ended last year. It might be renewed by Congress retroactively, but don't hold your breath. The educator expense. You may have heard talk that this deduction rises to $300 per person from $250. Forget it. That takes effect for the 2022 return. Virtual currency. The checkbox on page 1 of the Form 1040 or 1040 SR applies if you had any transactions with your virtual currency account whatsoever. Required minimum distributions or RMDs. Seniors who turned age 72 in 2021 must have taken their RMDs for last year by April 1st of 2022. If you miss the deadline, do it now and try to convince your financial institution to code it as a 2021 distribution. Otherwise, you will have to ultimately ask the IRS to waive the 50% penalty, and I've given you a link on how to do that. And remember, you also need to take this year's 2022's required minimum distribution before year end. Partnership Schedule K2 and K3 New forms. We have a reprieve from mandatory inclusion in 2021's partnership and S corporation tax returns. This relates to information on any kind of foreign transactions whatsoever by the entity or even by the taxpayers on their own personal tax return. This will be such fun next year. Some good news though Form 8962, the premium tax credit. 
For years 2021 and 2022, Congress eliminated the limitation that a taxpayer's household income may not exceed 400% of the federal poverty line. They also generally increase the credit amounts and makes it available to people are unemployment. If you don't know what this is, this relates to getting marketplace health insurance payments by the government. There are probably many things I'm overlooking. A good place to see more changes is the What's New section of all IRS publications and forms instructions. For individual taxes, Pub 17 is a good place to look. For businesses, there is a little information in Pub 334. For businesses, though, please be aware that there are a great many complexities because of the PPP loans and a variety of employee-related tax credits. You may need a tax pro who is totally in tune with these changes to help you. Not all of us are, which is why many tax pros are retiring this year. And remember, you can find answers to all kinds of questions about taxes and business issues and EA education free. Where? Where else? At taxmama.com.